After studying this module, you shall be able to know the basic concept of cost, revenue and profit and loss. Learn why it is important to calculate the break even output. Learn what is the margin of safety and its importance. Identify the key variables that can affect the break even point. Know how the break even point is decided under various market forms and learn the advantages and disadvantages of break even analysis. Break even point which is also known as BEP is the point where the firm may be said to be in a neutral situation in terms of profit and losses that is no profit and no loss situation. This kind of situation arises when the firm's total revenue is exactly equals to its total cost. Break even point is considered as a tool in the hands of a manager who takes a number of decisions for the progress of its firm. Information based on break even point is very useful in deciding the selling price to make proposals in a bidding process and it is also useful for firms when they apply for credit in the market. Next is cost, revenue and profit or loss. To understand the concept of break even point, we should first know about the following concepts. Total revenue. Total revenue is defined as the total amount of money which a firm receives after selling its output in the market, where TR is equals to price per unit into quantity sold. The above formula shows that total revenue can be calculated by multiplying the price of per unit of the output to the number of units of the output sold in a particular period. For example, ABC Limited Company makes cell phones. The price of a cell phone is rupees 4000 and total number of cell phones sold by him in the year 2014 were 10,000. Thus, TR is equals to 4000 into 10,000 which amounts to 4 lakh rupees. Average revenue. Average revenue is defined as the price per unit of a commodity. That is, AR is equals to TR divided by the quantity sold, which is equals to price per unit. Average revenue can be calculated by dividing the total revenue by the total number of quantities sold in a particular time period. As average revenue is also called price per unit, the total revenue formula can also be written as TR is equals to AR into quantity sold. For example, ABC Limited Company makes cell phones and its total revenue of the year 2014 was rupees 4 lakh and the number of cell phones it sold were 10,000. Thus, in this case, AR is equals to 4 lakh divided by 10,000 which is equals to rupees 4,000. Marginal revenue. Marginal revenue is known as the change in the total revenue when a firm tries to sell one more unit of its output in the market. MR is equals to change in TR divided by change in quantity sold. The above formula suggests that marginal revenue is calculated by dividing the change in the total revenue to the change in the quantity sold by the firm. For example, ABC Limited Company makes cell phones. Its total revenue is rupees 4 lakh when it sells 10,000 units and 4 lakh 5,000 when it sells 1,001 units. The marginal revenue of the firm ABC Limited Company is MR is equals to 4 lakh 5,000 minus 4 lakh divided by 10,000 minus 10,001 which gives us 5,000 divided by 1 which is equals to rupees 5,000. Profit or loss. Profit means the positive difference between the total revenue and the total cost of a firm and loss means the vice versa. Profit or loss thus is equals to pi which is equals to TR minus TC. The firm shows a profit if TR is greater than TC because then pi will be greater than 0 and the firm incurs a loss if TR is less than TC because then pi will be less than 0. Break even point. Break even analysis assumes the following. First, total cost of a firm can be divided into fixed and variable cost. Second, 
it assumes that the selling price is constant and does not get affected by the change in the number of units of output sold and other factors. Third, fixed cost is not affected by the change in the sales volume. It is assumed to be constant. Fourth, variable cost per unit is assumed to be constant. For example, the wage rate of the variable factor, labor is fixed. The total variable cost changes in proportion to the change in the quantity sold. Fifth, it is assumed that there is no problem of demand so that total produce is completely sold out in the market. Therefore, total production is equals to the total sales. Sixth, it is assumed that the company is producing only one product, though break-even analysis can be applied to multi-product company also. Seventh, operating efficiency is assumed to remain unchanged. Now, based on the above assumptions, the break-even point of a firm can be defined as a point where total revenue is equals to the total cost of the firm so that its profit are zero. To make our analysis more concrete, let's understand the break-even point with the help of an example. Example, Sunil and Sun Limited company has made 4,000 plastic cups. It has a fixed cost of rupees 2,000. This company has also incurred a variable cost of rupees 3 per cup. The selling price of each cup is rupees 5. Now table 1 actually represents the output, the fixed cost, variable cost, total cost, total revenue and profit or loss or the break even point for the same. The above figure 1 represents 3 situations. First, if the firm is producing less than 1000 units, it will incur loss because its total cost of production is higher than its total revenue. Second, if the firm is producing more than 1000 units, then the firm will have profits as its total revenue will exceed its total cost of production. And third is situation is the break even situation at 1000 units of output where total revenue is equals to the total cost. When the firm produces exactly 1000 units, it will earn zero profits and no loss. Point A is known as the break-even point of the firm. There is a concept called margin of safety which is defined as the difference between the actual sale and break-even output. Margin of safety is equals to actual sales minus break-even output or margin of sales percentage is equals to Actual sales minus break-even output divided by actual sales into 100. In some sense, the margin of safety gives a kind of warning signal to the manager of a company. Lower the margin of safety, higher is the risk of loss to a company. Thus, the manager should be more careful in taking the decisions regarding the revenue and controlling the cost when the margin of safety is low. The manager should try to increase the margin of safety for the better health of a company. The margin of safety can be improved by the following measures. By increasing the level of sales, raising the selling price, decreasing the fixed and variable cost per unit, replace the unprofitable commodities with relatively more profitable ones. Now refer to figure 1 and suppose the firm produced 1800 units and the break-even output is at 1000 output as per the above figure. Then the margin of safety will be 1800 minus 1000 that is 800 units or margin of safety percentage would be 1800 minus 1000 divided by 1800 into 100 which gives 44.44 percentage of margin of safety percentage. Another way to show break-even point is through profit volume graph. We can also define break-even point as the level of output where the profit of a company is zero. In figure 2 above, it has been shown that break-even point is at 1000 units where the profit line cuts the output line that is x-axis or where the profit is exactly zero. If the company produces less than 1000 units or to the left of the break-even point, then the firm will incur loss. Whereas, if the company produces more than 1000 units 
or to the right of the break-even point, then the firm will incur positive profits. Calculating the break-even point by using the graphical technique is a cumbersome process. Break-even point can be calculated by using the following formula. Break-even point is equals to fixed cost divided by selling price minus variable cost per unit. In this formula, selling price minus variable cost per unit is known as the average contribution margin because it shows the part of selling price which is used to pay for the fixed cost. The question is, how do we arrive at this formula? The answer lies in the definition of break-even point and may be explained as follows. TR is equals to TC. Selling price into quantity is equals to total fixed cost plus total variable cost. Thus, selling price into quantity is equals to total fixed cost plus variable cost per unit into quantity. Selling price into quantity minus variable cost per unit into quantity which is equals to total fixed cost. Quantity that is selling price minus variable cost per unit is equals to fixed cost. Thus, break even quantity is equals to fixed cost divided by selling price minus the variable cost per unit. According to this formula in the above example which is also represented in table 1, the BEP is 2000 divided by 5 minus 3 which is equals to 1000 unit. From this you can clearly see that the break even point can change with a change in the value of fixed cost, variable cost per unit and selling price. The next is break even analysis in different markets. In what follows, we see how the break-even point for firms is affected with the changes in market structure. We will also cover the market structures in greater detail in the later module. Perfect competition. A perfectly competitive market is a market with large number of buyers and sellers. The product which is sold out in this market is homogeneous and firms in this market are free to enter and exit. In such markets, Firms are said to be price takers as they do not have any control on the prices of the goods they sell due to the fact that there are large number of firms available in the industry. So, in a perfectly competitive market, firms AR is equals to its MR. Break even analysis using TR and TC approach. Break-even point is defined as the point where the total revenue is equals to the total cost. According to figure 3 above, when the market is perfectly competitive, then the break-even point can occur at either one of the two points A and B where the total revenue curve cuts the total cost curve. In other words, the total revenue is equals to total cost. So, the two break-even quantities will be Q1 and Q2. Firms will earn a profit if it produces some output that lies between Q1 and Q2. Elsewhere, it will incur losses. Profits will be maximum when the firm produces at Q3 level of quantity where the gap between TR and TC is maximum. Break-even analysis using AR and AC approach in the short run. AR and AC approach in short run. In the case of perfect competitive markets in short run, the firms can either earn supernormal profits or normal profits that is break even or incur a loss. Figure 4 above represents the case of normal profits in short run. In economics, normal profits basically means that the firm is earning zero profit or TR is exactly covering the TC of the firm. Break-even point is where TR is equals to TC and corresponding to that in the above diagram AR is equals to AC as can be shown as follows. TR is equals to price that is AR into quantity which is equals to OP into OQ which is equals to area OPAQ. Now TC is equals to AC into quantity which is equals to OP or QA into OQ. Thus, it is equals to area OPAQ. Therefore, at the break-even point, TR is equals to TC and AR is equals to AC, that is 
OP is equals to QA in the above diagram. Break-even analysis using AR and AC approach in the long run. In the case of perfectly competitive markets, in long run, firms will earn only normal profits, that is break-even, because in the long run, firms have the option to enter and exit the industry. So, the competition among firms will drive down the profits to the level of normal profits. This point will also be analyzed in detail in the later modules. According to figure 5 above, the break-even point is at point A where TR is equals to TC. Thus, TR is equals to price that is AR into quantity which is equals to OP into OQ which is equals to area OPAQ. Similarly, TC is equals to AC into quantity which is equals to OP or QA into OQ which is equals to area OPAQ. Therefore, at break even point TR is equals to TC or AR is equals to AC. Monopoly A monopoly is a market where there is a single seller. Other firms are restricted from entering into the market in this case. Break even analysis using TRTC approach. Total revenue and total cost approach can be used to show the break even points in the case of a monopoly. If the seller wants to sell more in this case, he has to reduce the price of the good. That is why the TR in this case is not a straight line, but it is concave in shape. BEP that is break even point occurs where the TR curve cuts the TC curve. According to figure 6 above, the TR curve cuts the TC curve at two points A and B. So the break even quantities will be Q1 and Q2. A monopoly firm will earn profits if it produces a level of output that lies between Q1 and Q2. It will earn maximum profit if it produces quantity Q3 because the difference between TR and TC is maximum at this level of output. Break even analysis using AR and AC approach. In the short run, a monopoly firm can earn super normal profits, normal profits or incur a loss. But in the long run, it will not incur loss and it may even earn super normal profits or at least normal profits. In figure 7 above, the equilibrium quantity is at Q where the MR is equals to MC and according to the AR and AC approach, break even point is at A where TR is equals to TC or AR is equals to AC. At Q, TR is equals to price that is AR into quantity which is equals to OP into OQ which is equals to area OPAQ. Similarly, TC is equals to AC into quantity which is equals to OP or QA into OQ which is equals to area OPAQ. Therefore, at the break even point TR is equals to TC or AR is equals to AC. Monopolistic competition. The main feature of a market characterized by monopolistic competition are that there are many buyers and sellers. Firms are free to enter and exit but each producer produces a differentiated product which gives them some level of monopoly power. Break even analysis using AR and AC approach. In the short run, in a market with monopolistic competition, firms can earn super normal profit, normal profit or incur loss in the short run. But in the long run, owing to the competitive pressures, they will only earn normal profits as firms have the option to entry and exit. The only difference between the figures for monopoly and monopolistic competition is that AR and MR curves in monopoly is steeper than in the monopolistic competition. The reason for this will be discussed in detail in the later modules on market structures. In figure 8 above, the equilibrium quantity is at Q where MR is equals to MC and according to AR and AC approach, break even point is at A where TR is equals to TC or AR is equals to AC. Thus, at Q, TR is equals to price into quantity which is equals to OP into OQ which is equals to area OPAQ. Similarly, TC is equals to AC into quantity which is equals to OP into OQ which is again equals to area OPAQ. Therefore, at the break even point, TR is equals to TC or AR is equals to AC. Next, we will study the advantages and disadvantages of break even point. 
advantages of break even point this is very simple to understand and can be calculated easily this concept can be useful in many real life situations for example when firms are applying for a loan it can be used to access the impact on profits when there is a change in the fixed cost or variable cost or in the selling price of the product disadvantages of break even point the basic assumption of break even analysis is that there is no problem of demand so that total production is always equal to the total sales but this might not be true always there may be situations where a part of output remains unsold cost per unit are assumed to be fixed but in reality they may not be fixed when output increases selling price is assumed to be constant but in competitive situations this may change the value of the break even output is essentially just a forecast based on certain assumptions the forecast may not be same as the actual situation in certain cases break even analysis does not suit the situation where the company is making more than one commodity it is best used to analyze only one commodity at a time to calculate break even point we need to categorize cost as fixed and variable but in some situation it is difficult to classify cost as variable or fixed break even analysis only detects the problem but fails to give away remedial measures to correct it break even analysis fails to take into consideration other factors like government policies marketing problems volume of investment etc example question a a cloth making firm wants to replace the old machinery with the new one the total fixed cost on desired machinery is rupees 21270 per year and the variable cost are rupees 8.75 per hour this firm can produce 5 meters of cloth in 1 hour the firm charges rupees 16 per meter from its customers how many meters of cloth can be produced to break even the answer to this question is fixed cost is equals to rupees 21270 variable cost is equals to rupees 8.75 per hour quantity produced in an hour is equals to 5 meters per hour variable cost per unit is equals to 8.75 divided by 5 which is equals to rupees 1.75 per meter and selling price is given to us as 16 rupees per meter now break even quantity is equals to fixed cost divided by selling cost minus the variable cost per unit which is given as 21270 that is 21270 divided by 16 minus 1.75 which gives us 1493 meters of cloth question b now if the firm produced 1500 meters of cloth what is the effect on the firm's profit now answer to this question is total quantity produced is equals to 1500 meters total revenue is equals to selling price into quantity which is rupees 16 per meter into 1500 which is equals to 24000 total cost is equals to fixed cost plus variable cost which is equals to 21270 plus rupees 1.75 into 1500 which is equals to 21270 plus 2625 which is equals to rupees 23875 now profits are equals to total revenue minus total cost thus it would be equals to rupees 24000 minus 23875 which gives us an amount of rupees 125 as the total profit question c now if the firm produced 1400 meters of cloth what is the effect on the firm's profit answer total quantity produced now is 1400 meters thus total revenue will be equals to selling price into quantity which is equals to 16 into 1400 which is equals to 22400 rupees at the same time total cost is equals to fixed cost plus variable cost which will be equals to 21270 plus 1.75 into 1400 which will be equals to around 23720 rupees Now according to the formula loss is equals to total revenue minus total cost which is equals to rupees 22400 minus rupees 23720 which is equals to rupees 1320 so in this case 
the firm will be earning a loss of rupees 1320 if it would be selling 1400 meters of cloth. This shows that if the firm tries to produce more than its break even quantity then it will earn profit whereas if it produces less than the break even quantity it will incur loss. Summary Break even analysis is useful for the manager of a company for planning its profit. Through margin of safety, manager can analyze how much he can reduce sales and still gain some profits out of this. A firm with higher margin of safety would be strong enough to survive even in a bad market condition. While break even analysis can play an important role in the decision of a manager, it has certain pros and cons that must be taken into consideration.